Hello, my name's Lizzie. I'm Anglican and later today I'm going to be received as a novice. The last video I made showed me driving off in the car to a convent and that was uh, the community that I started out with. Um, and I was with them as a postulant for about seven months. Um, and there was a lot that felt right about that community and, and we were looking at me being received as a novice with them and we were sort of talking about dates and things for, for this to happen and the more I sort of prayed about it and just went along with the discernment process the more I felt yes I do feel called to traditional religious life but the more the increasing I also increasingly felt that, that maybe this wasn't the right community and I'd done a lot of research, I'd sort of read the, the Anglican religious life book cover to cover several times. I, I just could not think what what other community it could be that I was called to. So I, I just, I kind of persevered and like carried on um, for quite a while, even though something didn't quite feel right. Because, because I was so aware that being a postulant and being a novice can be difficult and you will have uncertainties and things. And it was just so... Um, sort of drilled into me the importance of stability and sticking with things so I did um, but then there was a particular day or two when a lot of things seemed to happen all at once that God really seemed to be speaking to me through one of them was um, when one of the sisters just said to me maybe this isn't you're not yet in the right community and when they said that I felt like the Holy Spirit speaking through them as if God was saying to me it's okay to allow for the fact that you genuinely might not be in the right community yet and I guess I'd been so determined to stick with things and I was so keen on the, the stability and and um, staying a long time for discernment um, as part of the discernment process um, that I'd actually been, yeah, I was, I was so determined to stick with it that I was actually closed off from the possibility that, yes, maybe occasionally someone has started off in the community that, that isn't the right one for them. Um, in this case, the um, it turned out that there was another community that seemed to suit me better, but I just had not come across it. And um, for various reasons, I had kept glossing over it in the book because I hadn't realised that they were residential in the UK for some reason. Like I don't know, maybe God closes your eyes to things so that things work with God's perfect timing as well, I don't know. Um, but um, within the same 24 hours of a sister saying to me, M maybe this isn't the community that, that God intends for you to be in, and me feeling the Holy Spirit saying, yeah, listen to this, um, another sister in that community mentioned a different community to me that I hadn't come across. Um, and sure enough, they were in this book that I'd been looking at, but I just, for whatever reason, had just kept going past it. Uh, so I went on their website and realised it just seemed like even more who I am and what I feel called to. So I asked to visit them and the, uh, the community sort of gave me their blessing to go and visit this other community that I had just discovered. Um, so I, I spent some time with this other community and it really did feel right for me to uh, transfer as it were, or not quite transfer, but to withdraw from the novitiate um, with the first community that I'd spent seven months with and start over with this community that I had only just realised. And if I'd, I think if I had been aware of the existence of this other community, in the first place, I would have kind of looked at, at the, I would have like visited both before becoming a postulant, but for whatever reason, I just had not discovered the existence of this other one. So um, I I asked to withdraw from the the first community, and I um, I gave a date of of the date that I intended to leave, and I made sure. I gave a few weeks notice just to um, just so that it was gentler on everyone like me and the other sisters and so that they had time to 
um, like make sure that the roles that I'd been fulfilling in that community could be covered by other people and all that kind of like logistical thing. Um, so then I left that community and I moved to this one and started over. I was received as a postulant uh, within a few days of arriving here and I've now come to the end of my six months being a postulant with this community and um, like in some ways whatever community you go to there are going to be um, like just being a postulant has its like difficulties and uh, all discernment comes with its like uncertainties am I sure like how do I know this is where God wants me um so in, in some things in some sense lots of the questions that have just been part of being a postulant have been the same in both communities but but deep down something does feel more right about this community t to the extent that it does feel right to be received as a novice later today and um I go on to the next stage of this community so that that shows you the journey I've been on to date and how even I suppose it, it makes to me it feels reassuring that you can't even make I'm almost inclined to say like you can't even make a mistake with discernment because even if you you do go down a route that wasn't God's intention for you God's still able to find ways of um getting you down the route that God does want you going down so that that seems to have been my experience over the last few months. So here I am. Um, where are we? About a year and a quarter since my last video where I first entered this sort of religious life discernment process. And I've almost done like two postulancies now back to back. But um, yeah, later the, my family will be coming later like this afternoon. And um, there's going to be a very beautiful service that my family will be part of. Um, in which I'll be given a habit to wear for the first time and I'll receive the um, the novice cross that this community wears and f from from this evening onwards I'll be referred to as Sister Lizzie which will take some getting used to um, and for now um, I, my novice guardian has been very supportive and um she said, like, for now, just kind of enjoy the next year, try and kind of park any questions of, like, am I in the right place? How do I know if this is where God wants me for life? Just experience the next year and try and park as many, like, sort of, yeah, discernment or doubt type questions out of the way to, to allow you to, to live and experience the life more fully. And then in a year's time, we'll come back to those questions and just ask does it feel right to do another year as a novice? So we'll just take it one step at a time. But that is where I'm at. Um, thank you to everyone who sent me messages saying that my videos helped them. That means a lot to me because that was the whole reason that I was making the videos, just in the hope that it might help other people with their um, discernment um, and that their own journeys. Uh, so, yeah, this is, I just thought it'd be good to give you an update of where I've got to. So this is it. And... Thank you for your prayers, and if you happen to see this today when I attempt to upload it, um, thank you for your prayers, especially for this afternoon, Saturday 10th of November 2018, uh, when I'm being received as a novice here.